Okay, take these notes down. Don't just watch this video. There's a lot of information, not too much, but uh, it's good to take the notes down. So here we go. We're jumping down over to chapter 10.1. And there are several things that discussed here in chapter 10.1, but this first, the first information that we're going to talk about are tangent lines. Tangent line to a circle. Okay. Uh, tangent lines or tangent line to a circle. Okay. I'm going to use this uh, Gatorade, Gatorade cap to help me draw nice circles, right? Okay, so here we go. You guys draw your best circles that you can there. Okay, a tangent line is this. Let's say this circle is sitting on, you know, just some nice flat ground, right? Let's say it's sitting like this. So this is a tangent line. And a tangent line can only... I mean, the circle is only touching this ground at this one exact point right there. Okay? And that is called the point of, tan point of tangency. Point of tangency. Right? Tangency is obviously coming from the word tangent. And what's going to be true is, if you look at the center of the circle... Right? The circles have centers, and they have radius, and it has a diameter. But what's true about this, this center and this point, any, any center to the point of tangency is going to create a, right? Because this is a radius, right? To that point, it's going to create a 90-degree angle. It's going to be perpendicular to it, right? So when you have a line that's just barely going to touch the surface at one exact point, that's a, this, is the ta this is your tangent line right there. This is the line that is tangent to the circle. This is the tangent line. This one right here. And then that one point that it touches the circle, if you connect the line from there to there, it makes a 90 degree angle, right? Because that's what this symbol is. It's a right angle. It's 90 degrees. Okay, and so you can obviously imagine if I go over here and I draw another circle. Right, you guys can use a quarter or another bottle cap or something there. Now just think of this. I mean, even if I just sit here and I rotate it, see, you can have tangent lines that they don't necessarily have to be horizontal or vertical, right? If I draw another line that is obviously this way, on this side of the circle, but it's just going to intersect it here. And I go like this. I mean, it just meets it there, almost like if a circle or a balloon just touches a wall on this one point. Well, from there to here, to the center, Again, it would be what? Perpendicular. It would make 90 degrees. Okay, and obviously we can have many. I mean, an infinite, right? Because this, how many points are on this circle? There's an infinite number of points, right? So at any, let me draw another circle. Any point on this line. I'm sorry. <laughs> any point on this circle. Right, again, this is a tangent line. This one over here is a tangent line. This is what we're talking about right here. This is the tangent line here. This is the tangent line here. Because it just touches the circle just in one place, any place. I mean, I can do a tangent point right, I mean, anywhere, any point I pick. I can pick a point right here. And if there exists a line that just touches right there when you draw a line from that point to the what center of the circle
it's gonna make 90 degrees. It's gonna make a 90 degrees. A right angle here, a right under here is 90 degrees. It's gonna make a 90 degree angle here. Okay, so that's the definition of a tangent line. The definition of a tangent line. So the book says this, right? On, and this is on page, uh, if you look in your book, ah, uh, I don't know what the page is. Um, If a line, if a line is tangent to a circle, which means it only intersects it at one point, right? It's touching it. It has to put, touch it in this one exact point. Then from the center to that point is always going to be 90 degrees, right? So again, this is the tangent line. This is the tangent line. This is the tangent line. Okay, so that's not hard to believe, right? I mean, you see one here. Just think of a circle sitting on the ground or a circle against the wall, but pretty much anywhere I can have tangent lines. Okay, so we'll come back to this 90 degrees for, uh, for tomorrow's lesson. We'll come back to the 90 degrees. But here's another thing that's also true about tangent lines, which you're going to see in today's lesson. Um, what you're going to have in today's lesson is this. I mean, that I just introduced so that you understand what a tangent line is. In today's lesson, you're going to have this scenario. You're going to have a circle. Ooh, I'm trying to have a good circle. Try your best. And what's going to happen is if you have a point outside of the circle, let me pick a point out here. Boom. If I pick a point outside the circle, and if I draw a tangent line from here to where it just touches a circle, right? Let me, try, let me draw like this. Where it just, that's a tangent line right there. That's a point of tangency and it'll come out, but I don't have to draw the whole thing. And then if I draw another one that's tangent to right here, wherever it's going to be tangent from here to the circle, let's say it's right there. Right? If A and B, if you have two segments, if two segments are coming off from a, that, that, share, that share a point outside here, but they're coming from outside here and they're tangent to the circle, uh, let me say this is point uh, E, whatever, whatever this point's going to be here. Right. This is what the this is what the theorem says. The theorem says that this is theorem ten point two, by the way. Theorem ten point two says tangent segments. In this case, AE is a tangent segment and BE is a tangent segment, right? Segment is a line, right? From a common external point. From a common external point. Right? They, this, they can be coming from two different points. It can be like one from here and one from over here. Tangent segments coming from an external point so they're talking about what they're talking about AE this is a tangent segment right because it's tangent to the circle and this one also is a tangent segment coming from this this same common external point right in this case E are congruent what's congruent Congruent. You know what the word congruent means? That they're equal in measure. That these will be congruent. So I'll put the congruent. These will be equal in measure. Whatever this is, this is. So in this case, you would be uh, AE, this segment AE, from or E to A, 
Maybe I should put from E to A because, you know, it starts with E. E, A, this would be congruent to this. I mean, in the math, it's easy, right? When they're congruent, like if this is 5, then this one's 5, right? That's what it's saying. But they have to be coming from the same external point. It cannot be like this. You can have like a circle here and one of them coming from here and then another one coming from like some other place over here like no no they have to be coming from one point outside here and then touching a tangent point here and a tangent point here then these two are the same size okay so that's what it's saying okay so the lesson for today we're gonna see in the next video is just saying this you're gonna have these an external point here and if you have a tangent line here and a tangent line here then these are congruent okay so we'll see that in, we'll see that in the next video okay so i put it in the notes uh print out the worksheet the follow the next worksheet it'll be for the for these part of the notes all right